Justice Dickinson merely pointed to what the law was. And so whether he put it in his opinion or not, the law is the law. Mayor Shokwe Antar Lumumba has filed yet another lawsuit against city council, asking a judge to rule that, in fact, he can use his veto power against city council voting down the Richards disposal contract twice Friday. Now, in the final analysis, what he said is, I probably should not have said what I said only because it wasn't before the court to address that issue. This comes after city council voting down the New Orleans-based company multiple times. The mayor can't declare an emergency. He doesn't have a contract. The judge already ruled that he doesn't have a contract. One council member responding to the lawsuit saying the mayor is acting in defiance. He has now filed in another court because he just can't accept that the law is not on his side. Who's paying for this? attorney fees and everything. They told us the citizens. There were issues with delayed trash collection over the weekend. And we want people to pick the trash up. Yeah. And not people arguing, fussing, yeah. fighting, too, who, who the strongest, who got more power. One couple on Flowers Drive says the trash talk is starting to leak into the community. Getting the trash is what's most important thing. Getting the trash right here. I got three or four houses in this area, but my trash is much of my tenants is not getting picked up. The mayor says delays are expected during the transition period. Whether it's gated communities that they don't have the gate codes for. Waste management has had a contract for more than 30 years, and the mayor is accusing waste management of sabotaging Richard's disposal's operations. I have actually been on the phone uh, with leadership from waste management who have prevented at times uh, the Richard's disposal trucks entering into the transfer station in order to dump the trash. A spokesperson for waste management says any delays at the transfer station were caused by not following procedures regarding swipe cards and truck identification.